Chapter 2 Text and Graphics Custom Commands Dragon Medical has a tool built in that allows you to create what are called custom commands. There are a few different types of custom commands. The command types are called text and graphics, macro recorder, step by step, and scripting. During this course, we will review how to create text and graphics custom commands. Text and graphics commands are utilized to put repetitive text into a simple command. For example, you could create a command to invoke a review of systems template. First, let's start by creating a new command. On the Dragon Bar, go to Tools, Add New Command. Text and graphics commands are utilized to put repetitive text into a simple command. For example, you could create a custom command to invoke a review of systems template. First, let's start creating a new command. On the Dragon Bar, go to Tools, Add New Command. This launches the My Commands Editor dialog box. At the top, we have a place for the command name. We will enter the name after we create the content. We can also add a description of the command if necessary. For this example, we will not be adding a description. Next to availability, we can choose where this command will be useful. By keeping it a global command, you will be able to use it in most applications, meaning it will not be application specific. We recommend keeping your commands global. Now let's take a look at a simple review of systems to get the content for our command. Switch to Document 2, select all, copy that, I can now paste the content into the content area, paste that. Now let's name the command, I'll name this command ROS macro. We suggest using the word macro or command after you enter the command name to help Dragon recognize that you are invoking a custom command. Dragon knows that you are invoking a command when you pause briefly during your dictation before speaking the command name. However, by adding the word macro or command to your command name, you help distinguish custom commands from general dictation. We also suggest training your command name. I'll do this now. ROS macro and click done. Okay, let's save and test our command. ROS macro ROS macro. Looking at our ROS macro, we can see that invoking it as a command has saved us a lot of time dictating. Now what do we do if we want to change one of the items to be positive instead of negative for a symptom? We can simply use the select command to select the word and change it. For example, if the patient is positive for headaches, I can say the following. Select no headache. Patient reports having a headache for the last three days. Now I've easily altered the content. There's another very useful feature that you can utilize with your text and graphics commands that allows you to create fields that can be navigated by voice. 
Let's access our command through the command browser on the Dragon Bar. We'll go to Tools, Command Browser. All of our custom created commands will fall under the user defined category. Double click on ROS macro and it will open the My Commands editor. You can create fields that can be navigated between by using square brackets to enclose text areas. For example, I want to put all of the word no that I have in our ROS macro in square brackets so I can easily navigate between them and remove or change them as necessary. Now I will save the command and show you how it has changed. I'll close the My Command Browser. I'll close the Command Browser and open a new document. ROS Macro. I can now navigate between square brackets by using the following commands next field, previous field, next template, or previous template. Let's say I want to change no sore throat. I can use the select command or I can turn on the microphone and use commands to navigate to that field. Next field next field, 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 next field. Now I know that it seems like I said next field very many times, but while you're going through a patient note with the patient, you can go through these items one by one. I just happen to be skipping to sore throat. Now I can remove the word no. Delete that. Insert after sore throat. For three days. Now that I've changed the content in that field, you can see that the square brackets have disappeared. Once you're finished navigating fields, you can get rid of the remaining square brackets by using the command clear variable delimiters. Clear variable delimiters.
And now my review of systems is complete.